Performance appraisal or review is an annual event where you review your objectives with your manager to see how you have performed for the whole year. In view of COVID-19, is the performance review still relevant? Today, I will talk about the relevance of performance review in the context of the pandemic and how you can still showcase your accomplishment even though many of you are not able to finish your or achieve your goals. This is to get you closer to the rating which is more reflective of your performance and contribution. Hello everyone, I am Anna Tan and I'm the founder of We See All, short for We Carry Each Other. Last week I published my first um, video on YouTube and it's called Reframing Setback. I'm overwhelmed by the positive response and I want to thank each and every one of you for your support and your feedback. One subscriber asked how frequent I'll be sharing these videos. Well, I'm committed to publishing at least one video per week. So join me and subscribe to my channel and never miss a video. Most companies have decided to proceed with the performance appraiser in spite of the pandemic. This is because appraiser is part of the performance management system, right? which interfaces with a whole host of other HR-related processes such as rewards, uh, promotion, talent retention, uh, training, development, etc. My experience with performance appraiser has been in the capacity as an employee, as a manager, and as a HR director. Like most people, I admit that I don't like it at all. I don't look forward to it as well. You may think this is strange coming from human resources. Well, just because this is a HR process, it doesn't mean that HR automatically does it well. The issue with this process is the judging element. And changing appraiser, this term, to calling it review or evaluation doesn't make the judging go away. Here's an example of the rating from a scale of 1 to 4, which um, you're probably very familiar with, and uh, the rating would be something that you receive after Judgment Day. You can see that there is very little wiggle room, and most employees will not be candid during the performance meeting. This is for fear of jeopardizing their rating, as each level means a different pay increase. As if this is not bad enough, employee will be forced rank into a distribution curve that looks like this. This is how companies control their salary budget, and it became a standard excuse manager give to the employee why they can't give them a high rating. This then raised a fundamental question. Since my rating is already determined by the bell curve, what is the point of the discussion? Do you mean I can change my rating or move it up a notch? The reality is that most people don't know um, how to prepare for their performance review or what to prepare. When you want your manager to give you a good rating, you must appeal to his or her interest. I've always suspected that managers put people in two categories. One, people who make their life easier. Two, people who make their life harder. Many of you are under the impression that your manager should know what you are doing. Yes, your manager may know what you are doing, but they may not know how you do it unless you tell him or her. This is precisely why you should use the performance review as a golden opportunity to tell your managers how wonderful you have been throughout the whole year and all the extra miles that you have taken during COVID-19. Preparing for your performance review is making your boss life easier. In my role as HR, I have trained many employees to use STAR in review meeting. It is simple but yet structured enough to hold a decent conversation. However, during COVID times, 
when people do not have the opportunity to meet face to face or to interact, it becomes crucial to engage in stories. So we are not forgetting the human touch. COVID has fast forward a digital adoption and we are now forced to communicate in a more intuitive and humanistic way. Here's how story works. S is for situation and T is for task. O is outcome or result. And I have brought it earlier into the conversation because most bosses are busy and impatient to hear very long story. So you've got to grab the attention upfront. Have the results before you provide the context, which is reality. And last but not least, why is the you in the story? In my video last week, I spoke about Lucretia and I will use her story to demonstrate how she engages her manager during the performance review. Firstly, what was the situation? During COVID, just like many of you, Lucretia was not able to visit her customer when there was a problem. So her task is to get it fixed remotely. Outcome, she successfully built an interface which allow her to communicate with the technician at the customer site and eventually they get the machine working again. Reality, the challenges of work from home where the company is ill prepared for, this is very common across the board, and social distancing which impact on operations and then keeping the team safe. Lucretia dealt with all of that and said, I have a team of talented people and this is the best time to help the customer. When you help people when they are down or you help them solve the problem, they will remember you for a very long time. With that, she rallied her team and she galvanized them around the mission and the rest, like what we said, is history. Or in her case, her story. I know many of you are nodding your head saying that I did all that but never got around to telling your boss as he or she was too busy firefighting and trying to survive. Well, it's not too late. Start making the effort to tell your story now. And for managers, please listen to your employee's story. Imagine you add up all these stories. And this is the testament of how strong, how resourceful, how resilient your team members are. Harness these stories, share them widely, replicate them, document them so they become your corporate memory. Who knows, another pandemic or crisis will hit us again. Don't you want to be more prepared to handle a crisis with COVID-19 providing you with some very valuable lessons? In summing up this video, there are definite advantages for you to fully engage in your performance review. Use it to show your impact, invite feedback, show your manager that you appreciate the support and their guidance. If you are preparing for your performance review, go ahead, try story, and if you have tried, share and leave your comments below. Thank you for stopping by and supporting what I do. If you have found this video useful, I would appreciate if you could give me a like and turn on the notification so you wouldn't miss a video. I look forward to seeing you again.